By the way, that was uh, Pastor E.D. Mondanay, who didn't tell you his name for the record, the NAACP president. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being here. To the Honorable Ted Wheeler and to the host of uh, council members, we certainly indeed appreciate you here for this, uh, this afternoon. I'm Bishop Marcus Irving, Albina Christian Life Center. Uh, we're affiliated with the International Church of God in Cleveland, Tennessee. There's a scripture in Nehemiah 4.13, Therefore said I in the lower places behind the wall and on the higher places, I even set the people after their families with their swords, their spears, and their bowls. And I looked and rose up and said unto the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people, be not ye afraid of them. Remember the Lord, which is great and terrible, and, and fight for your brethren, your sons and your daughters and your wives and your houses. And it came to pass when our enemies heard that it was known unto us, and God had brought their counsel to naught, that we returned all of us to the wall, every one unto his own work. And we are here representing those who are on the wall. I was present here on May the 9th council meeting as, and as I sat and listened to all of the professionals presenting their findings and results of their studies to give validity to the seismic retrofitting uh, mandate that sits imminent, staring us in the face. And after learning of that meeting just three days prior, I left that meeting feeling devastated, overwhelmed, and violated. I wondered who is this that seeks to do us harm? Who sits in the voting booth not truly understanding the immense cost and negative effect of these plans toward our churches and all other businesses and abodes affected by these plans? But today, I'm out of time. I would like to think that we're at an impasse, but I feel we're behind the eight ball rather than an impasse. An impasse would mean or suggest that our being here would cause you to rethink the imposition of these plans due to the enormous impact of this process. The exploding of our churches and those mom and pop businesses would do immeasurable, irreparable harm and damage to all involved, especially the faith community that God has ordained to extend his love to all mankind. You, city council, have a job to do, to try and prevent hurt or death in the event of an earthquake or uh, of an earthquake. Yes, I kind of lost my place there too. Yes. But we just want to say thank you and, and I'll have to send you a copy of mine. The rest of my testimony. Thank, Thank you. you so I appreciate it.